This is the world's simplest and most logical type of tissue, peripheral nerve. Here is a peripheral nerve cut in cross section, a very large one and some medium sized one. And here is that same peripheral nerve cut longitudinally. The reason why it is the most logical and simple of all tissues in the body is because virtually every nucleus belongs to only one type of cell called the Schwann cell. Let's take a look at some of this nerve. In a cut section, you can see, once again, all of these nuclei here and all the nuclei in here on uh, axial cut, cut section versus longitudinal cut section are virtually uh, belonging to the family of glial cells known as Schwann cells. The Schwann cells make the myelin surrounding the axons of the nerves. Uh, notice it has a little bit of a wavy appearance and practically all of the tiny little nerves we saw in tissue before uh, looked kind of wavy as well. In this longitudinal section here, uh, you could see that uh, here's the nucleus of a Schwann cell, here's one, here's one. They all are. Some may be fibroblasts, and of course there may be some blood vessels which are easily recognizable, but virtually all of these nucleated structures are nuclei of uh, um, Schwann cells. When we go to the cross-section of the nerve, it's even more spectacularly realized. All of these nucleated structures are Schwann cells. Uh, and where the fibers are cut longitudinally, you can see that they basically have some kind of substance in the middle, and then they're surrounded by clearer stuff on the outside. Well, the darker substance in the middle of these circles are actual axons from neurons. The neuron body itself is never in a peripheral nerve. And this lighter stuff that surrounds it is the myelin of the Schwann cell. And that is the classical appearance of a peripheral nerve on cut section. Uh, and when you cut a nerve longitudinally, they are predominantly cut sections. And towards the periphery, before you get to the fibrous uh, tissue covering of the nerve, uh, these are all nothing but axons surrounded by myelin, which is made by these nucleated structures called Schwann cells. And that's why I said this is the most uh, ridiculously uh, simple tissue in the world to identify and to understand. And I thank you very much.